that it really affects everyone's life. But it wasn't, you know, that I really uh, chose to be in that area. It chose me in a sense. Oh, <laughs> so oh. I, um, I, I had been working for a bank right out of law school, and then I actually took some time off when my daughter was born. And oh. um, I had an opportunity to work part-time, and the general counsel at that time needed someone to come in to work for a woman who was an attorney at the, at the agency, and she was going on maternity leave. And so he said, well, I would like to have someone to work while she's out. And I was, I was taking some time off from, hmm. from when I had had my, my uh, first child. And so I decided to go uh, and work part time, three days a week, while she was on maternity leave uh -huh. at this agency. Which you know, I really didn't know that much about public utilities, and so I said, okay, "You really I, wasn't thinking, yeah, I wasn't thinking about of it, it, it." You know, I, I went to work yeah. there really because it was a part time opportunity, not because oh. uh, I was that particularly interested in public utilities. And then when she came back from maternity leave, she said, "Well, Billy, I don't want to work full time. Would you?" consider sharing this job with me so we you know just cr we created a proposal wow. we went to the agency and said we would like to share this job uh, and we came up with a proposal and we said you know we would be willing to share one salary we weren't neither one of us were ended up getting health benefits both of our husbands okay. fortunately had uh, health benefits and we shared a job so the agency uh, accepted our proposal to do that and we we we, sh we split the salary in half. She worked th two and a half days a week, and I worked two and a half days a week. We came in together for a short period on uh -huh. Wednesdays so we could talk about our cases. Wow. I knew about her that cases. She knew about my cases. So if someone called, they wouldn't have to wait you know, two and a half, three days to get an answer. And so it really worked out to be a very positive situation for us. And it sounds well, unusual. It's it was very creative. It was, uh, it was very unusual. I mean, certainly for a state government agency to do something like that, it was a very unusual situation. And we were able to make it work for us. So, I mean, we were kind of forging a new path yes. to kind of sit, That's what to, I was going to, to fit our work-life balance needs at that time. And it really turned out great for me because I did it for about three years. And uh, while I did it, I had another child, and it was a, a great opportunity for me to keep my foot in my career, wow. but also be able to have time to spend with my kids at, at, at the early ages uh, of their lives. Okay, now they this went to gives, wow, that's awesome, <laughs> Billy. Then this gives me an opening to talk about that other side mm -hmm, of you, mm -hmm. uh, the mother. Mm -hmm. Now, how did now I can I now see the strategy of of how you did that that uh, work thing, but now uh, just let's kind of I guess uh, put more emphasis how that did work with you being a mother and being like going into this profession because you have three kids, right? Yes, three. I do. I have three. I have three kids. Uh, in fact, uh, my, my oldest is actually my stepson, so wow. uh, he came to live with us when he was nine, and so I basically raised him is that as well. Uh, who is that? Edwin the third? Edwin, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wow. And uh, then I, we were, I guess my husband and I were, were married, I guess, about eight years before we had uh, a child together, and because uh, I kind of wanted to get my foot in my career so if I did step out for a minute I wouldn't right. go back as a uh